Hello, in this Kotlin programming video, we are going to look at exception handling. We're going to start off with a simple try catch block. And what is, an, what is exception handling? So let me just create something really simple. I'm going to create a variable and I'll call this number. And I'm going to say number equals, I'm going to do a mathematical calculation. Actually, I'll create two numbers. So imagine if you got any input from the user. So number one equals 100, for example. Number two equals zero and then we're doing some sort of you know divide calculation so we are going to do var result equals uh, probably best if I do var oxygen these shouldn't really be changing mm, like so result equals number one divided by number two so let me print it out so let me print it out result let's just see what we get so if we wait for it to compile and we get a result of as you can see basically we get an error exception in fred main java dot language arithmetic exception division by zero you can't divide by zero in mathematics therefore this will you know cause errors in your application and it will make it crash the try, you know, catch block, the exception handling allows you to overcome this. And it's not just for, you know, mathematical or division or any math in general. It's anything where some sort of runtime error might occur. Maybe you're trying to load a file and the file may or may not exist. Instead of the application crashing, that's not a good user experience. You rather let the user know that something's gone wrong. Maybe some sort of box pops up and it says, can't divide by zero or can't find maybe it's a save file or do you want to create a new file if it's a game for example so it's better to inform the user than just crash it so what we do is instead we we put the actual calculation part the part that could crash it within something that's called a try block like so so we put this inside of here it's got a red line that's because we haven't completed it yet and we'll also put the print line there as well. And if there's a problem, then we want to do catch. And the catch is going to be like an error. And we just put the exception that we think it could you know, be. So in this case, the arithmetic exception, the best way to find out is force that error to occur. And it will literally just tell you the exception in the console. And now we can, you know, we can do something else here. We can make some sort of box pop up. We could maybe save some sort of diagnostics and send that to our own server for, you know, some sort of statistic and statistical analysis. But I'm just going to print out this error and we'll see, you know, see what we get. So if I run this, So as you can see, it says java.lang arithmetic exception divide by zero, but it's not red. The application didn't crash this time. So if I put print line here, and I put, do, 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 I'll just say after the check, this code will still now run. The application won't crash, but the rest of the try block will halt as soon as it hits a error. But if I change these numbers, so I replace this with a 20. So 100 divided by 20 is possible in mathematics. So we should get a result of five printed out. And we get a result of five. So that's the best way you want to actually handle errors, errors that may occur. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.